Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Q&A with BA. I'm Sarah. This is Clint Hansen. Hello. We're here to answer your questions. Yay. Something you guys don't know is before we start every episode, Clint claps us in. Well, maybe you've seen that in the bloopers, but sometimes he claps super loud to the point where I feel like a little bit of my brain fell out onto the floor. So I'm still recovering. Anything worth doing is worth doing <laughs> right. I can't help it if I'm magnificent at clapping. Okay. It's so... It's so magnificent. I, I totally do it on purpose, because I know that. From now on, I'll do a series of golf claps. Take one. Can I see? That's nice. That's nice. But yeah, it, I mean, it doesn't do the job, though. Your it's not going to get me ready. It's just going to be a little flutter, where I, I really like the, now we can get started. Action. And then those things. <laughs> that was things, a genuine reaction. Those things, like, what are they called? A clapper. They think? I think a, those a clapper. are pretty loud, aren't they? A clacker? Clacker. I don't know. I feel like the, you should You're talking about this. the film ones? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's like, I don't know. I never hear anybody talk about it. Did the clacker? Well, <laughs> well, maybe some acting Q&A should do a video on that so we can watch. Jeffrey, make that happen, please. Find somebody that has an acting Q&A and uh, let's, let's see what that thing's actually called. Film, or we can Specifically Google. film acting, not theater. Thanks. Thanks, bud. Yeah. Working on being nicer and kinder. I'm glad you are. <laughs> I will not. I believe he responds to, you know, firm hands, stress, and challenges. Because every time he shows up so quick with whatever we need, yeah, it works. Well, maybe you're right though. Maybe his job is too easy. I always think that. About anything. So instead of an easy button, we should have a hard button that we sell here at Ballistic Advantage. And then, and then you like press the button and then Clint Hansen shows up and he like messes with you. He like claps. And like that's how the whole thing starts. He claps really loud and makes you fall out of your chair and then it just all goes downhill from there. What do you think? Okay. I'm good with that. Sweet. <laughs> What's the other button gonna summon? You? Oh, maybe like an excited button or a happy button or something. And then I show up and I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, or something like that. I think that's fantastic. Get excited. Our question today is from our friend, Bruce Mercier. Am I saying that right? Mercier? Mer Mer Mercier? Mercer? Mercier? Mercer? I'm sure he'll correct us if yeah. we're wrong. Please forgive us if we're saying Either way, wrong. Bruce is a cool name. Hey guys, great stuff. Oh, thank you. Starting new project. Question, Clint. 300 pistol build with dedicated suppressor. Would you go 8.3 inches or 10.3 inches Hanson performance? Ooh, both. All right, but if we have to pick one or the other. Mm. All right, so a couple of ways I look at this in terms of if you're doing a, a pistol in one of compact size, you know, then I would say 8.3 if that's what you're really, really going for. In terms of accuracy, you're not going to see much different between the two. Uh, maybe a little bit of velocity you're going to lose with the A3, but not enough to matter. They're both going to be tag drivers, I promise. If you're, for me also, an A3 is fun to shoot, but in terms of a practical gun that I'm actually going to use a lot, I'm going to need a little bit extra length out there on the handguard so I can go a little bigger on the handguard with the 10.3. So me personally, I would choose a 10.3. I think another aspect of this too, especially since you brought up the idea of going dedicate suppressed, there is the option or the, uh, the off chance that you're going to shoot it unsuppressed. So. I do believe there was a question in the comments um, recently. Somebody's asking what muzzle device to pick. So you can do whatever you want. There's really no rules there. However, my advice would be stick with a flash hider mount if it is for a suppressor, um, if it's not a direct threat. And the reason I say that is we always talk about how low pressure round, or how much of a low pressure round 300 blackout is. And if you use a muzzle brake, you're gonna be kind of stealing away from some of that muzzle energy that you're gonna to need to recycle the weapon, if you will. I tend to stick with flash hiders. Also, there's really not a ton of felt recoil in terms of turbulent use with your with your pistol or rifle, so I usually stick with a flash hider. But yeah, 10.3 inch, dead or suppressor possibly, or someone else's. That's what I would choose. Yes? I have a question. Sure. Does barrel length does barrel length or rifle length in general come into play with like comfortability when shooting? Yeah, and that's what I was talking about, where I'd like a 10.3. So, yeah. you know, even if you can extend that stock, an 8.3, I'm still gonna be pretty tight in here, okay? So with a 10.3, I can get out a little bit more 
okay, and it's a little more comfortable for me. So yeah, every every body shape is different, every person, their arms are longer or shorter, so absolutely. You know, if, if your goal is to fit that rig in a backpack, you know, or you know, or keep it tinier or smaller for your truck gun, which we've talked about before, you know, you know, maybe you're not gonna worry about it and there's gonna be a practical use for that and you're gonna keep it in compact or even in close quarters, you know, in a, a, a you know, in a building or anything like that. But absolutely, the length of the barrel is definitely gonna change how long it is and how it's gonna function on you. I'm pretty tall, so anything shorter in 10.3 is, I get a little cramped, you know, it's a little less comfortable for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, mm -hmm. awesome. Good question. Thank you so much, Mr. Hansen. You're welcome. You did a great job. Thank you. You did too. Thank you so much to our friend Bruce for your fantastic question. You did a good job. Thank you so much, Jason Demo. Thank you so much to Jeffrey. We love you, Jeffrey. Guys, if you like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and click that little bell icon so that you get notified every time we post a new video. <laughs> we have new Q&A videos up every Thursday. What, what? Yeah, it's true. If you want to see this guy or Jason Demo answer one of your questions, make sure to comment below. <laughs> I just like using my hands. <laughs> we sure can't wait to see what you send us. That's as hard as I can clap. No, no, no. See it? Right there. That's what I did. It really hurts. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Q&A with BA. I'm Sarah, this is Clint Hansen. Hey. We're super hip-hop and we're ready to answer your Cut questions. Cut that <laughs> Do it again. Aw, that was it. No, it's terrible. Stop wasting time. He's got a meeting. <laughs> Let's go. He's just going to leave.